For the third video at Cambridge, we'll take a look at the NDB DME approach, this time flying the arc. For today's exercise, with the same wind as earlier, we are planning to fly to overhead the beacon at 4,000 feet, head 090 off the beacon, descending to 2,000 feet and picking up the arc, at 10 miles turning left to pick up the inbound NDB course of 235 degrees. To fly inbound to the beacon, we'll head 045 to maintain the 055 track to the overhead. To save time, we'll go to time compression. We need to ident both the NDB and the DME. Overhead now, and back to normal speed as the easterly turn is commenced. together with the descent to 2,000 feet. Again, we'll speed things up a little. You'll notice that this time we have hidden the aircraft tracks. Back to normal speed now. With about 0.8 miles to go to the 10 DME arc, I'll turn in to fly approximately 90 degrees to the ADF needle, trying to keep the arrow roughly in the 9 o'clock position as described in the tutorial. The aim now is to nibble your way in small turns around the arc. It's not possible to maintain a constant turn. That all looks reasonable. I'll just turn left now 10 degrees. It seems I've slipped inside the arc, so I'll just maintain this heading for a while. Throughout this whole process, the aim is to monitor the ADF needle head, the DME, and make appropriate small changes to the left, or, if you slip inside the arc, maintain the heading until you regain the required DME. The 246 degrees track to the beacon is a guide to help you turn onto the inbound track. When you actually turn will depend on your range, airspeed and the prevailing wind. Miss this and we'll be going round in circles all day. I think I'll turn in now. Nicely established now on the 235, we can descend to 1700 feet before we get to the descent fix. Another quick look at the visual appears OK.
Now, approaching the descent point, check ground speed and adjust the descent rate if necessary, and down we go. At 4 miles, we should be at 1380 feet, a little high, so increasing the descent rate. At 3 miles, we should be at 1050 feet, so only a little high now, readjusting the descent rate. Bringing on the visual for the last part. At 2 miles to go, we should be at 730 feet, only 50 feet high. A small track correction here as the wind has changed. and I'll stop the descent at 450 feet, 20 feet above the MDA. Another small correction and we'll hold that track to the beacon. Success! Now we can repeat or quit while you're ahead. Take a look at the other videos where you'll see the flexibility of the program demonstrated and how to adapt it to your needs. If you have enjoyed this video and have any suggestions for future video projects, please let us know. Drop us a line to our email address which is just coming up.